An inherited warranty sets the stage for today's episode. Tune in for more. Hello, and welcome to Momo 634, the daily podcast chock full of faith-filled inspiration and motivation. Momo 634, motivational moments just for today. In our nearly 300 episodes together, I'm going to pull a first. I'm making a correction. You see, in yesterday's episode about kindness, I relayed an incident about a less than stellar customer service experience I received. I said in my search about this company, I found over a thousand complaints. And while that is still technically true, These old eyes saw 1,100 plus. But when Hubby and I were discussing it later, after I called the bank, as I told you yesterday that I would, he said, 1,100? No, honey, it was 11,000. So while 11,838 is over 1,000, Almost 12,000 paints quite a different picture. If you count that against me as an inaccuracy, I hope you will consider it a first in almost a year together. And if we can call it an error, it was certainly in their favor, because a thousand sure sounds a lot better than 11,838. And that brings us to today's topic, reputation. Proverbs 22, 1 says, A good name is more desirable than great riches. Favor is better than silver and gold. The qualifications for an elder include a good reputation. A widow to be placed on the church rolls must, in addition to other criteria, have a reputation for good works. Though my claim is still being investigated by my bank, what do you think the odds are that they might go in favor of a company with almost 12,000 complaints in a three-year span plus an active lawsuit in Arizona over a valued customer of 27 years? Doing the math admittedly not my forte, that equals almost 11 complaints per day. Could you skate through life with 11 complaints per day about your work? Or expect to graduate from school with 11 complaints per day about your conduct or schoolwork? Would you be driving with 11 tickets per day? When you seek credit for a large purchase, such as a home or car, if you have 11 liens or bankruptcies, how far do you think you'll go? As believers, we are called upon to strive for the best reputation that we can because others are watching. No, we're not to judge others, as in, I don't like that outfit. But the Bible talks about righteous judgment and correcting those who walk disorderly so that it doesn't reflect on the church. I've said I have a big birthday coming up this month. I want to compile some advice I've learned in my many decades on earth. I'll give you a sneak peek at one. Guard your reputation. Our meme for today says, if you have nothing else, You have your reputation, and God knows it well. Thanks for listening to Momo 634, motivational moments just for today. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, give it a like or review, tell a friend, 
and follow along on social media or your favorite podcast platform. To have episodes mailed to you, subscribe at momo634.substack.com. To receive bonus episodes and support this podcast, become a premium Substack subscriber.